chances are you are watching this tutorial because you want to learn how to do the Modern Masters um, rest patinas. So here we go. This is what we're going to do. So what I did was I went ahead and put the finish on this piece of furniture that I wanted. As you can see, the top is not done, but I do have this not completely done, but this is going to be the base. This is what I wanted. So I, I recommend doing that first. Um, you don't the patina itself. So whatever you do here, you paint it white, paint it blue, paint, do whatever you want. Um, but as for the rust patina and kind of making it look like it got dipped in water, that's what we are going for. So what I have done here is I have painted on a one coat of um, Little Black Dress by Debbie's Design Diaries. So there's one coat on there and I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat with you guys, okay? So I don't think it really matters what paint or you could use the primer that comes with the kit. Um, I'm choosing not to use the primer today, although I have used the primer before. So the only thing that we that's what we're going to do. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get two coats on here. So, and I'm going to try to mimic pretty much exactly what I did the first time in all of this because I like the way it looks. But as for the legs, we are just going to get a good second coat on them all the way around and then we're going to let that dry thoroughly before we start with the fun stuff so this process does have a lot of steps involved in it so there will be a lot of um, stopping and starting and going back to it so i think this is a really fun look i'm thoroughly enjoying it it's nice loves different things to do So let's go ahead, we're just going to paint and get all of this on there. Again, I'm trying to just mimic what I did the first time with my black that I'm using as my primer. Okay, so now that we have our second coat on there, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry real good. And then we're gonna go over the products that we're gonna use, okay? Okay, Melanie, again, from Lou Milvich Designs, forgot to say that. All right, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, forgot to say that. <laughs> so, okay, so now that we have two coats of black paint on there, or if you have your primer on there, whichever you would rather use, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is use Modern Masters, and we are going to use the bronze, and over here we are going to use the metal effects the copper okay so these are our two that we're going to do and this one's going to turn blue and this one's going to stay like a rusty color okay so here we go we're using the copper and again we're going to try to mimic what we did with the black try to get it over that Okay, so now we have our copper on there, pretty much where we want it, went ahead and fanned it out, and now we are going to put the iron on. So we're gonna do this in the same fashion that we did the other. So again, taking care not to get it on your areas. You know what, let me mix this a little bit more. Hold on. Now we are going to apply our iron oxidizing paint, okay? We're going to kind of do it the same way that we did the other. So we put our copper on and then we're going to go around. The other area. 
areas that we didn't put our copper and it doesn't have to be perfect if some black paint shows through that's actually pretty cool so it doesn't have to be perfect I'm gonna overlap a little bit and not cover up all our copper though that's important okay Okay, still putting on our iron. All right, let's do a little bit over here for you guys. We're just kind of doing it where we didn't do our copper. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. So it kind of looks pretty cool when it does that too. And you really don't ever really know what exactly this is gonna look like until we spray the um, activators on it. That's when it really starts doing fun stuff and cool stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on guys. All right, I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, so now that this dried, let it dry for a half hour. Now we are going to put it on again, pretty much in the exact same fashion that we did before, trying to hit where we put the copper, where we put the iron, and then we're gonna go ahead and activate it, which is really, really the fun part. So we have our two different sprays here, and we have our brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my copper first. Trying to pretty much get it exactly where I got it the first time, which, you know, is pretty much impossible, but that's the, that's the goal. I'll get this on there. And it doesn't, you know, really super matter if you don't get it exact. I mean, that's not, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so the point of this is, is that we want it wet, so we need to kind of work fast. And we want this paint to be wet when we spray it down. And being that we're using two different ones at the same time, we have to kind of work with it. Okay, so just like that for that one. Now I still have my iron out here, so I'm going to go ahead and add it. Keeping it wet All right, now we're going to go ahead and um, take our blue patina, which goes over the copper, and we're gonna spray it on. So it's gonna drip down and run together. It's just inevitable, it has to happen like that because of gravity, which is fine. It'll still turn out cool. So I'm gonna apply, apply a pretty, pretty liberal amount and get it on there. So I'm on concrete floor, so it's really not a big deal, but if you did care about your floor, definitely want to make sure you're protected okay so now we're going to go ahead and get the, the iron rust activator and I'm just going to spray it pretty much right back over what I did and I don't even know if that's necessary because I have never tried it without doing both so you guys can tell me in the comments if it's even necessary if you decide to try it all right I'm gonna put a little bit more blue make sure that's my top layer on here And now we wait five minutes timer okay so now we're back it's been five minutes and you can see it starting to change so 
we're going to go ahead and spray it again. So the rust one says to spray it again in five minutes. The blue does not. I'm going to do both just because I feel better about that. So go. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some blue on there too. All right, now we let that dry. It's gonna do its little magic. I'm gonna show you here in a little bit when it has done. So you wanna let this keep turning um, until you like it the way it is and then mix up some baking soda and water and that's what's going to stop it okay so i'm gonna let this and we'll get some close-ups here in a minute Okay, so now that this has set overnight, you can see all of our patina is good, really good. But now we need to stop the process, okay? So what we're gonna do, in here I have water, and I'm going to just take some regular baking soda and put it in there. Okay, I'm gonna do that twice, so I'm gonna guess this is probably about two tablespoons, teaspoons, I don't know. We're just guessing here. Okay guys, so we have some in here. I use my little scooper three times. And put this back in here. And then I'm gonna shake it up. Mix our baking soda. And now we're just going to spray it. So this baking soda is going to stop the rust activation so that we stay with the look that we have right now. It doesn't keep changing and we're good. So just spray it down real good. You might get a little bit of white um, crusties. And again, I learned this from um, Vintage Tide Decor. She is the one that told me. Gonna spray everywhere. I'm gonna get those back legs over there. And that is that. Okay, so I um on the package it says that this does not need a sealer so you don't have to do that if you don't want um, the last piece that I did I actually used polyvine over it um, it did deepen it deepen the color a little bit um, but it was fine the sealer is fine modern masters also does make a sealer that you could purchase if that is what you were so inclined to do so um, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll give you a little bit of video here showing everything up close it's very fun way to do a different finish on your furniture and i hope you enjoyed it let me know and if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to message me windmill vintage designs on facebook um, paint against the machine on youtube and windmill vintage designs on instagram okay thanks guys bye bye